everybody, it's Miss Sarah and my lovely teaching assistant Marmalade. Today, I'm, Marmalade and I are really excited to read you a story. It's actually one of my favorite stories. And guess what? I have it on my shirt today. This story is called, here I have my book, Marmy. It's called Madeline. Has anyone ever heard this story before? Hmm, look at the cover of this story. What do you see on the cover? What is this big building here, do you know? called the Eiffel Tower. Can you say that? The Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is in another country. That is all the way over in France. It's a long, long way away. So this book is about a little girl. She's right here. And her name is Madeline. She lives, I believe, with nine other little girls. And they, live, they all live together in a house with Miss Clavel. And Miss Clavel takes care of all of the little girls. Now Madeline in this story, she gets hurt and she has to go to the hospital and all of her friends who live with her visit her and then she gets back to her house all safe and sound. So let's read this story. It's called Madeline. Pay special attention to the pictures in this story because a lot of the pictures in this story are somewhere in Paris and at the end of this story I have a surprise to show you. So here is the, one of the cover pages. This is by Ludwig Bellmans. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines they broke their bed and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. in rain or shine. And the smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. Look at that, all of her little, all of her friends are hiding from the mouse and she wants to play with him. She loved the winter snow and ice. To the duck tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo poo. So she is very brave. She's not afraid of the tiger at the zoo. She's very brave. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said something is not right. Remember, Miss Clavel is the lady who takes care of all the little girls who live in the house with Madeline. Madeline sat in bed and cried and cried. Her eyes were red. Oh, poor Madeline. And soon after, Dr. Cohn came, he rushed to the phone And he dialed Zon 10, 10 6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everyone had to cry, not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm, in a blanket, safe and warm. So the doctor is going to take her to the hospital. She's feeling really sick. In a car with a red light, they drove into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. And a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Outside 
sky, there were birds, trees, and sky, and so ten days quickly passed by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? So all of Madeline's friends are going to visit her in the hospital. Sometimes whenever people go to the hospital, they have to stay there for a couple days until they feel better. Visitors from two to four read a sign outside her door, tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers and a vase. Oh, look, they're all going to bring her flowers. In they walked and they said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. So I think what happened was she got her appendix, appendix taken out and she had a scar on her tummy from that. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt. Goodbye, they said. We'll come again. And so the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. You see Madeline's not there. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, something is not right. And afraid of disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, please children, do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, boo-hoo, we want to have our appendix out too. So why do you think those little girls are sad? Are they sad because Madeline got all those toys at the hospital? Oh my goodness. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and close the door, and that's all there is. There isn't any more. How did you like that story? So I love this story because it take the setting of this story, where the story takes place, is in Paris, and that's one of Miss Sarah's most favorite places in the whole world. I was so lucky to have gone there, and I told you that I had a surprise for you at the end of the story. My surprise is, I have something to show you from when I went to Paris. Now in Paris, a lot of artists live there. When you're walking along the streets in Paris, you'll see people painting pictures and you can buy the pictures if you'd like to. So Miss Sarah was walking along right near the Eiffel Tower here and I saw somebody painting and I thought, oh, wouldn't that be a pretty painting for me to have? So I bought it and here's what it looks like. So you can see the Eiffel Tower here and there's leaves and buildings and the Eiffel Tower is along a river and you can see that the artist painted a boat in the river and if you look closely you can even see that he signed his name. Isn't that amazing? This is one of my most favorite things that I have is this beautiful painting and in the back it has the date and the artist's name and where it was. So this is one of Miss Sarah's favorite things. He painted this with watercolor paint. So if you ever have used watercolor paint, oh, I have to say, <gasps> oh goodness, all of those flowers and trees outside are making Miss Sarah sneeze. So that is my special, special thing that I have from Paris. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed that story about Madeline. I know that there is a Madeline show um, on TV. I'm not sure if you, um, if your parents can get it or not, but it's a good show. And I hope that you enjoyed my story today. And I will see you guys next time.